And what is the PA supplemental application, if you were to summarize what this? And do you have any tips or approaches to writing this effectively and well? Yeah, so the PA supplemental application is just the first kind of part of the U of T application. So there's a few questions online. They should be, I think they are available year round. You can see the previous years online. Um, I could be mistaken, but I think for our years, they were available online. So you can get a sense of kind of what the questions are that are being asked. And then you have to prepare kind of a written response that you submit with your initial application. And so I think some, some keys to accelerating and sorry, excelling, not accelerating in that portion of the application would be to engage in some of the activities that we discussed before. So self-reflection, thinking about uh, things that uh, maybe extracurriculars, jobs, volunteers, or just maybe even personal life experiences, all things that uh, can help you answer those responses, things that can get you thinking about yourself and who you are as a person in order to answer those questions well. Uh, so obviously not sure how those are kind of considered, but just in general, those are kind of some processes that really helped me approach the application. And if you can like get somebody to have a second eyes to look at it, I think that was helpful for me. I tried to get a couple different family members to look at it um, because I appreciated kind of their different perspectives, what they had to bring to my application. Like my sister is a dietitian, so she had a, a viewpoint. And then my mom working in education, she had a different perspective to bring. So I think those different perspectives just helped me in my own personal writing. Um, in reflecting on what they had to give some feedback to me. And then uh, the second part just being um, to give yourself lots of time when you're writing it, because that's always important. You never want to leave it to the last minute. So you can write it and then maybe think some more about it and then come back to it, because um, the best writing is rewritten and rewritten again. <laughs> so that's a, that's a really important part of the application. And so in just making sure that you uh, adhere to the guidelines. So if there's a specific word count, I consider just making sure that you follow those guidelines specifically when you're completing that application. Yeah, I agree. Tips, Kenna. Um, I would say step one is really introspection. I, I know it sounds like super basic, but you really need to know who you are as a person to be able to sell it to the admission committee. Um, that would be like my number one thing. I also think it's important to um, really dive deep into your answers. I, I, I like I have read uh, applications in the past and like you can't make statements that are like, I like wanna help people or I like healthcare or I like medicine because like, oh yeah, well, you know, the 2000 other applicants all, also all love that stuff. So. It were like the you have to think about the person reading it. If the person reads this, it's gonna be like, well, this is really boring because everyone wants to do this. So that's why the introspection part is really important, is that you have to know who you are to be able to write about it and sell it to the people who are gonna be reading it. So that's really important. Um, I think it's what I've often seen in uh, application as well is that people kind of stay superficial. So they'll say, um, for example, they'll name a strength, they'll give an example, and then they'll move on to the next question. So the person is kind of left saying, like, okay, well cool, like an example, but what does this mean? And how does it reflect back to being a PA student or being a PA in general? So um, I talk about this in the past, like on my Instagram, where I kind of use like the what, how, so what approach. So it really kind of like how you write a thesis statement, you use that approach in answering your question. So then you'll have that example, you'll describe it, but then you'll say why that matters. So if you say, I don't know, and I, I just said not to say this. If you say like, I like medicine, then you can say like, why is it important? Well, because I want to have an important role as a PA in Canada to blah, 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 blah. And you really explain. So you really expand on that. So I think that's really important um, on top of like the basic stuff, like respecting word count. Uh, I have also seen like people go to like, if it's 250 and they go to like 275. That basically just tells the person you're not able to respect guidelines, which is not a good start when you're trying to impress a panel. Mm -hmm.